Hey everyone, welcome back. So today's video is going to be how I achieve frizz free curls throughout the day. Um, when there's high humidity, when it's just disgusting outside and my curls are, I know are gonna suffer, I take a little bit of extra special time on them to get them to stay like this throughout the day um, or I put them in a bun. <laughs> But this is that's not what today's video is on. So this is going to be today's. I'm going to show you how I go from wet hair to this. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get into it. Hey everyone. So like I said, I am going to be showing how I achieve frizz free curls. Um, it is a little bit of a process. So just be prepared if you plan on doing this. But the end results are freaking amazing at last. Um, you can go out, your curls will look great in photos, they don't get dry, it's humid outside, they look great. Like, if it's nasty weather and you don't feel like doing a bun day and you want your hair down, you can do this. But, flip side is you need a little bit of time to achieve it. So yes, be prepared. Um, so, first thing is your hair should be wet. My hair was completely wet, but then I decided I wanted to do my makeup. So that was a process, and with that process, my hair began to dry. So I brought my bottle in with me. Um, I only use two products, well, sometimes three, my little oil that I was talking about yesterday, because I love it. But usually I only use two products to achieve this look, which is a leave-in conditioner. I use the Cantu, and then my Curl Control Jelly, which I love so much. And you can get both of these. This one I got from Walmart, but I know they sell it at Target. And this one I got at Target. I don't know if they sell it at Walmart. I, I, don't, I haven't looked. But I know if you just want to do one trip, Target. You can get basically all three of these. I know these two are sold at Walmart, though. But like I said, I don't know about this one. Um, so what do I do? First, I start to split my hair into sections. I make sure that it is wet. Um, this is going to be a air drying process and because product is going into the hair, it takes just a tad bit longer. I get like a little finger full and I start going through my little section. And as I'm doing that, I get ready with my curl jelly and I literally just use a little bit because I don't want my curls to be... Have you ever seen when curls are like way too over processed and they... Not over processed, but over, just overdone. And then you look at them and it's like, those look really greasy. So this is what I do. Um, I told you it's a process. I take it, I section it, I get one around my finger and I twist up. Like so, I hold it for a few seconds. So I usually do this like when I'm watching TV. <laughs> um, I do it when I can just sit there and just watch because it takes forever and they kind of look a little bit like stringy right now I know but as they dry I'm telling you it's the bomb.com like they dry really good the curls dry individually and you get these really nice pretty curls of course you guys are gonna see it at the end but I don't want you to see them right now and be like mm -mm. no why would you go through all that and that's what they look like because they're wet they're way down they now have product in them so they're gonna look a little, you know, a little iffy. But then I just do that um, to both sides. You can see already like the difference this side is drying. All I did, I didn't wash my hair or anything like that. I literally just like got it wet. I took a shower, ran the water through it and everything, but I didn't do a wash day yet. I think that's what my next video is gonna be on is my wash day. But as you can see, even though it looks fuller, this side I can guarantee if I went outside like this, I would have an afro in less than 30 minutes, without a doubt. So I highly suggest just getting the product, making sure your hair is wet, doing this, even though it takes a little bit longer, just do this and it'll come out great. But I'm gonna finish this up and I'll come back and show you guys the end results. Okay, so I'm at the top of my head now. My arms hurt. I feel like I've been literally at the gym. Um, also, I don't know if you guys, I'm sure you did, just get a white tooth comb so you can, I wouldn't suggest just trying to twist, not twist, but recurl um, like naps in your hair. I don't, I've never done that, but I feel like it would come out a little um, 
not so not so good but um yeah so after you finish this whole process you have a couple options um you can either let it air dry um you can also use a blow dryer if you don't have a diffuser and you choose just to use a blow dryer i do suggest you scrunch and dry don't just hold it and let it hit a section or else you're gonna frizz out your hair and then you're gonna have like some like it like straightens it it's weird i've done it it doesn't come out good um i just don't do it just don't do it please don't but um so yes so once you finish this if you have time i highly suggest air drying it getting your wide tooth comb fluffing it out which of course i'll come back and show once my hair is done drying um but if you don't have time or it's cold because it's cold outside to me right now so like if i had to go somewhere right now i definitely would be using a diffuser which is what i always suggest for curly hair um, diffusers are little pieces. I know mine is the Diva Curl one. It looks like a little green hand. I actually should have just bought it in. But um, that one works really well. They have other ones. That one by itself without the blow dryer or anything at Ulta is like $50, I think. And I know that is a hefty price tag. Unless you got your points set up at Ulta. Let me tell you, those points add up. Anyway, that's a whole other video. Um... But they have cheaper ones. You just have to find it. Um, they have some that, I think it's just because it's like a hand. They have some that are not like hands. I mean, it just, it really just depends what you're looking for. Um, but yes, so after you finish this, let it, I, I really would just want you guys to let it air dry. Because I feel like your curls, when they air dry, they dry better. But believe me, I've been in situations where I just really just needed to blow dry it because I like this, especially because it's wet with product in it takes, it can take a while to air dry. Um, I would, for myself, I will usually do this if I'm going to like the car wash or something like that. Also, or if I'm cleaning or anything like that. I do that as well. Just something where you can dedicate, 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 dedicate some time to it um, will get you the best results. But if you can't, just use a blow dryer. But yeah, so I'm going to finish this out. I am, oh, thank God, almost done because my arms are literally killing me and I'm ready to be done. But you can see I have like, what the fuck? Anyway, but I will come back after. I let it air dry and show you guys what that looks like so you can know if you want to deal with doing all of this. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Boop. All right, so this is my hair dry. Um, well, almost dry. It's still a little wet, like right here, but it's as close as it's gonna get because uh, I, just, I have stuff I gotta do today and I don't wanna have to sit here and wait for it any longer. But this is air dried. Um, as you can see, my curls are a lot more curly, defined together, however you want to say it. Um, I haven't done my little pick through yet. I decided to wait until I got back on camera. But I love big hair. Oh, oh. And I love big curls. Some people don't. I do. So whenever I do my hair, Except for my bangs. I don't do my bangs because um, I'm not trying to frizz, not frizz, but um, puff them out any. I just need them to stay how they are. Also, so when you get to this point with your hair, you can add some type of oil if you feel like it wasn't enough for what you put in your hair. I did forget to say um, to pay really special attention to your hair in the back. Um, my hair tends to get the most frizziest in the back as well as the ends. Once the ends start going, it all starts going. So that's another big thing I think to pay attention to. Um, also, if, um, a disclaimer, when you're doing your amount for your hair with like this or this, this is super thick. So if your hair is thin or isn't that curly, I mean you should kind of know your hair I would assume 
just a little bit. Um, maybe you don't need a full finger. Maybe you just literally need a little tap. Maybe do a little test section of your hair to make sure that you don't do your whole head and it comes out looking oily or you do your whole head and you don't put in enough product. So just make sure you're putting in the right amount of product. I can't stress that enough. Um, when I started to do my hair like this, that was a big issue. I didn't know how much product I needed and sometimes I went out the house and I couldn't figure out why my hair wasn't drying fast enough, um, why it got frizzy even though I just sat there and twisted it. I couldn't figure it out. So that's another thing as well as with this. If you feel like this is plenty for your hair leave-in conditioner, then don't use this. If you feel like you only want to use this, then don't use this. I like using these together. This keeps it moisturized. This keeps them in this shape. So yes, that's why I use the both of them. Um, now if you finish this and you're like, hey, the back of my head is still a little frizzy, get a little bit. I always put too much, but just like a little palm, little dime size or so, depending on what your hair is and scrunch it in to keep your curls together. You don't want to sit there and try to comb it through. I don't know why anybody would do that, but don't do that. And just go like that. I mean, you know, you know I like doing my little, little thing right there, but yeah. So this is the end result. Um, like I said, it's not completely dry, so I do expect a little bit more volume. I will probably be posting some selfies of it on like Facebook and Insta and all that. So if you're not following that, if you follow my Instagram, then you'll be able to see probably it's full thing. But yes, this is it. I am not worried to go outside at all. I already know once I go out there, even though it's disgusting outside today, that I don't need to worry about my hair. It's going to be fine. Um, so yeah, I hope this helped you guys. I would love to hear your reviews on after doing this. Like I said, it is a little time consuming, but the end results are great and it stays like it all day long. So it's really nice. Um, I will throw up some quicker methods. I'll probably do another video on when you're in a rush and you want to do it faster, but this was just if you want it to last and you want to find curls throughout the entire day, I suggest this method, but I will have other, another video up doing a quicker method so that you don't have to sit there forever doing it all. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you later.